Hi, well welcome to Harry's Farm. Today is August the 4th and we're right in the middle of the linseed harvest. Now it's winter linseed we planted. It's called winter linseed because you plant it before the winter. So this went in the ground around September and this is a block of about 70 acres of linseed. Been on it a couple of days. We're just filling up the uh, combine we have to bring the diesel to the combine. You can't park that near a pump or anything. And we're about um, two miles from the home farm here. So that's the only way to fill it up. It takes about a thousand liters to fill this. Thank goodness you're not paying uh, for, uh, normal diesel prices. It's red diesel, it runs on agricultural diesel. It's about 60p a liter. Right, so why do we grow linseed? Well, it's the break crop I'm using on the farm at the moment. You're probably wondering what a break crop is. Basically, to go right down to basics on a, on a farm, arable farm, your number one crop you're trying to grow is your first wheat, which is a wheat, winter wheat, foreign a break crop. And that break crop are something that isn't a straw crop. So we're talking about oilseed rape, peas, beans, and linseed. And oilseed rape was the mainstay break crop generally in the UK. But uh, last year, they banned a seed coating on it. Um, and that meant lots of friends who have grown it had a terrible time with cabbage uh, flea beetle and uh, decimated the crops they were constantly going in with insecticide after insecticide blanket spraying seems madness to me that this this funny seed coating got banned in the uk and it just led to more and more insecticide actually being used so counterproductive i would have thought but i've never really liked rape as a crop it's a very tricky crop to get away sometimes you're constantly monitored for pigeons so i choose linseed Downside of linseed, it didn't yield very well and used to put it on in the spring. This is a new um, variety of winter linseed and I plant it earlier September time and it seems to do pretty well. This is our third year with it. The only downside with it is a bit of an issue to combine. It's not the most fun thing to combine. This combine can absolutely eat normal crops. It'll do 30, 40 acres a day. Linseed, it struggles along, probably does 20 t uh, acres a day or something like that. It, why is it, and well, you ought to go and have a look, why it's so tricky. Right, here it is. It's all very brown. It, it's, it senesces off as it's turned. It goes brown like this ready for harvest and then we actually add um i put a spray on it that completely kills it reglone we use and it makes it sort of brittle and easy to combine like that but those pods have the linseed there you go that's that's what we're after and yield is just over a ton to the acre it's doing about 1.2 tons of uh, linseed to the acre at the moment i'll show you what the combine does now the trouble with linseed is it's like a flax. It's what they used to make um, rope from and it's really tough and it's like woody and um, it's a really tricky thing to combine sometimes because it wraps on things so you have to have it really dry, sun out and it's half the reason farmers are obsessed with the weather because I need the sun to come out to be able to combine this. If I part this you can and I'll just we stopped last night because losses were getting quite high. If you zoom right in, you might be able to see the linseed on the ground there. That, that should be in the combine. And because it's getting a bit tough last night, we were getting the losses were going up and that's why we stopped combining. So we're gonna get going again. Um, and you'll join us once we've got the combine all wound up and hopefully the sun has come out. Yeah, here's the knife. What we're looking at is you can sort of see it collecting here. Why is it collecting? Those blades sort of look all right, but if you if you go down, that one's got a little chip on it. I think there's some worse examples down here. We are. There's one that needs replacing. There are new knives we put on last night, and you look at something like that, and there's just an end off it. It just means it doesn't cut. And linseed will do anything to wrap and not cut that blade needs replacing so that's what we're going to look at that one yeah properly properly gone there isn't it right off there Big stones sort of coming in here just as the knife's going is why they suddenly do this so that's what we've got to do for the next half an hour swap any damaged blades fun fun that's the last of the knives let's bolting this up oh, it just holds the knife in position so it doesn't jump about. There we go. How many have we done then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine blades.
blades replaced this morning. Hopefully that will make it go through a lot better. You can see them here, all these grey ones. But the sun still hasn't come out, unfortunately, but hopefully that will cut better. Now we just want some sun. They like to hide grease nipples all over combines and give you a little diagram here. And, uh, and then you're meant to work out where they all are. It's a good game. You sort of get the hang of it by the end of the season. Just, but at the beginning of the season, it's, yeah. Uh, where was it again? Where, which ones do we have to do? Right, just, we have to test the moisture. So Charlie's made a start. You get this machine, very clever. Pour the sample in there. 11 mil, like that. And we're looking, well, 8% and below is what I, is ideal. But even if it went over eight, I'll probably still carry on. And now you have to wait for a little countdown to give the magic number. So yes, it's a little, little dull this bit, but the machine is doing its stuff. It has to correct itself for moisture. And what it's doing is actually sending a little current between the sort of ground up linseed sitting in there. And there you go, that's the right result. I don't know if you can see that, 7.9%, which is bang on, which it means it's go, go, go. And we'll try and finish the linseed today. We've got another 25 acres across the road. So we've got to take the header off and get across the road. Never fun doing this bit. Why did I buy such a big combine? Always. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, suddenly the combine feels very big. Right, now we have to glue it back on to there. Basically, we have to get that back in there. I have to do a bit of some pins now, so I'm going to disappear. First thing you have to do, oh, make it safe. That means it's locked onto place. Next, this PTO. Electrics. There's a little socket here. Finally, uh, the hydraulics. There's this in here. That's it. Job is job. Right. So, our uh, version of the pit stop tyre change uh, in Formula One putting the header on and off. We're not quite down to 1.88 seconds as Red Bull did the other day. And off he goes. Always used to worry about doing this bit that someone hasn't chucked something over the head thinking, oh, that would be all right. Out of a car or something. Be a long way to chuck a shopping trolley though. But yeah, it's done a lap. Well, I'm going to get on board because I want to know how it's doing. And any way of telling, he's got a screen up there and it's sort of measuring everything as he goes round. It's a satellite up above, so it maps the field out and produces this sort of field yield map. It's really useful. Yeah, with all this mapping technology things on combines, I mean, it's part of the appeal, but it's just one giant gadget, um, a big boy's toy, really. But he does an extremely useful job. And you, you can't wait to get it out of the shed after waiting about 11 months to use it again. And it's sort of midway of the season, you think, this is really fun. We're just getting to the nice bit because we're over halfway through the combine again. Um, so the end is in sight, it's always a nice feeling, we just need to weather the hole. And I'm going to jump on board and see how this feels doing. So I really like not to combine the quarry, the very stony ground around here. We'll get used to it. Okay, we're going to stop now and get rid of that. Yeah, a bit worried about that. You can see that. Oh, that joint has gone there. Oh, that has gone. 
Oh, what a pain. Can we, can we change it? Do we have to change it? I think we do. It's red hot. Maybe you near that rattling, but uh, that's the cutter bar. Just the end of the knife behind that shield. We tried to remove it and managed to snap a very high quality spanner. It's that tight. So there's nothing we can do uh, with it. I just hope it's not wrecking anything else. So I'd really like to get fixed to that. So we're pressing on until it really just snaps before you run out of linseed. Again, really getting more excited in this linseed where we're going to finish because I see it from my app that tells me when there's going to be some rain. According to this, starts in 25 minutes. And if I look at this, I don't know if you can see this, there's a great big splodge of blue heading our way. There it comes. What time is that arrive? Doink. Uh, 10, no, 17.32. So in 40 minutes. That's not what we need. Banging away. Not a healthy sound at all. It's starting to look very grey over there as well. Spots of rain have finally arrived. We just about to keep going, but there was a horrible rattles coming from the end of the cutter bar, so we're gonna check that out and see if this is it or not. Where's he gone? Some of the bloody peas. There it goes. That, that is the nasty thing there. Oh, that's, look at that move around. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think... Charlie, before you do that, let's just have a look. Let's get a bar. See, that's wrecking that there. That's wrecked that top. But I think we stopped there. Blast, which is not good. Do you see? That's opened up. That We're going to have to get a new one of these now. Right. Yeah, rain and breakages stop play, I'm afraid. It really doesn't feel like combine weather. We're so close to finishing. We just need another, well, I don't know, four hours or something like that. Combine terms, not a lot. Anyway, to be continued.